Hey guys, welcome to Carry Craft. Today I'm going to show you a boat which is the Wexford class. And this is a 4 plus 2 bird. It comes with a, a shore power, which is a 220 on board. You just plug it into the mains. So this Wexford also has a, a DVD player. And for all your long-haired long lovers, you have a built-in hairdryer. Another interesting feature on the Wexford class is this cool box. And you have a pump-out station, and also you have a cap to fill up your water tank. So a Wexford dash, you have a voltage clock for your engine. Up here, you have your 12 volt socket. This switch here is your water pump, your bilge, your cool box, your fridge, your heating for the demister, your wiper port, wiper starboard, your horn. And up here you have your fuel gauge, you have your oil pressure, and the main clock here is our RPM. It also gives you your digital engine hours. Here you have your water temperature clock. And to the left is your water gauge. Down here is our ignition switch. And here are in our indicators for your batteries, your water temperature, oil pressure, so on and so forth. So to the right of the steering wheel on the Wexford, you have a bow thruster controller. To, to operate, simply press the button and you go right and you go left. After you're finished, if you don't need it, press the button to turn it off. Ideally, only use a bow thruster for a maximum of 10 seconds. To the left of the wheel, we have this black switch. This is your main master switch for the e Basher heater. To activate this switch, you must turn it on. To turn it off, simply press it up. So to the left of the wheel, we also have a wastewater gauge. If your wastewater is full, the gauge will indicate it full. When empty, it indicates empty. So on the Wexford class, we have the Morse controller. So to neutralize the gear, you can pull it here, pull forwards and back. It neutralizes the engine. To engage your gear, you press it forward. To go reverse, you simply go back. So starting your boat on the Wexford class, you simply turn the key to ignition stage, you turn the key to the second stage, so third stage, you turn it fully, and your boat will start. So when you start the ignition, the battery indicator light will glow. To get rid of this and charge your batteries, you simply go to the Morse controller, and you give it a rev. Turn off your boat, simply turn the key off. On board, you have your safety features, such as your life rings, which is on the outside of the boats, you have a boat hook. Inside you have your fire extinguishers and your first aid boxes, plus your life jackets. We have a fuse panel, so a trip fuse panel on the boats. Every trip boat is located in different locations. You will also be showing this in your demonstration. The pumps on the side and the back of the boat are the holding tanks for the toilets. They need to be emptied every three days. To pump out your toilet, you will have a smart card which you put into the machine and start it. Hold very tightly and turn on quickly. At no time, let go. When finished, turn off, take out nice and slowly, so you have no splashes. On board, you have water tanks which needs to be filled every day. The best time to fill your water tank is first thing in the morning when you get up. On your arrival and check-in, and you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Also, you can get questions answered on your demonstration.